some of you guys may watch Ricer Miata's videos. I know I do. I've actually been a viewer of his channel ever since he was on Haggard Garage. And a lot of his viewers get really upset in the comments when he buys a vehicle and then he sells it almost immediately because something that you'll find with a lot of car guys is when we buy a car, we immediately realize what we don't like about the vehicle. The reason we buy the car in the beginning is because there's things we know we want to experience or that we know we like about the car but you don't know the things you're not going to like about the car until after you own it so it takes owning a car to realize what you don't like about the car this isn't necessarily the case with this but i wanted to get this car to build a track car and be able to take it to pikes peak raceway and race it honestly i wanted to be able to have something that i could tow there and race and not worry about damaging it on the track or getting bumped into by other drivers and be totally fine with it. However, what you realize once you own the car is all the money you're going to have to spend on the car itself just to get it ready for the track and then a tow rig to get it there and then whatever the track is going to charge you for that day of racing, Snell approved helmet, proper harnesses, just the cost just adds up and adds up and adds up and without a proper sponsor I really just don't feel like that's something that is in the cards for me right now. I really do want to race more so than drifting. Drifting kind of is just to me it, it seems more like off-roading. It's just something for fun and it is very very fun so if you're thinking about drifting and you can afford it not only the money but the time by all means go out and drift but i wanted to race i wanted to actually put down some time trials get some scca track time and get a, a time slip showing how fast i could hit the course but i just really don't think that i can afford it right now i've got a lot of other projects i want to complete first i really want to get an ls into my miata i want to get the all metal wide body finished i need bigger rims to do that i don't want to do the wide body and then get the rims later and and everything doesn't line up. So I'm gonna be ordering the rims with the rest of the money I got from selling the cage. So that's gonna happen probably tomorrow being Monday. I'm gonna custom order a set of I think circle racing or diamond rate, maybe even arrows. Depends on who's gonna give me the best shipping deal. But thanks to Tyler Fialco, I know that I want steel. I want them to be negative 108 offset and they're gonna be 15 by 10 so they can be as wide as possible. So I'm gonna order those tomorrow. As soon as they come in I can put tires on them then I can put them on the Miata then I can do the wide body and metal I just want everything to line up perfectly and I need the rims and the tires to do that so I'm gonna be taking what's left of the money from this build from selling parts and the roll cage ordering the rims getting them shipped and then putting tires on them mounting them balancing them and then getting them on the car so that I can do the wide body so that means I need to sell this car because I cannot afford to track it with everything else that needs to be done i mean just for example for it to be usable on the track all of these sharp edges have to be blocked in with metal i would need to build a full cage i still cannot figure out why it's not starting i think it, it sounds to me like the fuel pump's not cutting on i have another fuel pump but i just don't want to throw parts and time at a car that again i'm not really interested any longer in dealing with you know i could sell the motor for four or five hundred bucks alone tranny couple hundred bucks rear diff it's still a one point six but there's you know 500 600 bucks just in the drivetrain alone so i posted the car for 550 on craigslist i've got an offer from bob you guys all remember bob from ppir the lightning process is complete hey yeah light waiting stage 11 so he's supposed to be coming to pick the car up today or tomorrow with his trailer then he's going to get it out of here and he's probably going to do the same thing i was thinking about doing even though he already has the one i cut up for him he may cut it all the way down to the frame and put another crazy old school Datsun or truck on top of it i don't know but he made me an offer on it because it's bob i took the offer it's a little lower than i wanted to take for it but bob's always been nice to me and he's always looked out for me and he gave me a good deal on the parts for the last chop so i still have a shitload of parts left from that chop now i have the parts that are left from this chop a bunch of scrap metal i need to get rid of moral of the story is i am getting rid of the track car i'm going to focus on my wide body miata and getting an ls1 and a t56 six speed training so i'm going to be looking for a rear-ended camaro on craigslist that has the ls1 and t56 and then i can put that into my car that's the goal i also got rid of the four-wheeler because the shopping cart would not fit on 
on the four-wheeler itself because of the way the engine is set up on a four-wheeler it's right in the middle and very high i would have had to completely redesign everything and build an entire off-road dune buggy frame to put all the parts in just to get it to go around the shopping cart and that wasn't what i was trying to do so the shopping cart is still an idea i want to address but i think what i'm going to do is get a racing go-kart probably a bad motor or something just rusty and old and ugly and then i'm going to put the shopping cart onto the racing go-kart so that's a future project i want to look at too but i've got to get this stuff out of here and get the rims and tires for my miata so that i can do the wide body and the only way to do that is to sell stuff so the track car is gone comment below with any ideas you may have for the ls swap if you know anybody that does the ls cross member mounts let me know about that either way track car is gone four wheelers gone making money moving stuff trying to get money back in hand so that i can move on to better projects and keep the channel going so like if you liked subscribe if you want and as always guys keep modding